What kind of stories would you like to hear? Click on a theme. Spring. Pick a spring story. Here we go. A drooping flower. Click on the big button to listen to the story. Click on one of the small buttons to do an activity. Let's go. This story is called A Drooping Flower. It has four parts. Click on the arrow to listen to the story. Matt is drinking a cup of water. Molly is sad. Her flower is drooping. Molly asks Matt for a drink of water. He thinks that she is thirsty. Matt hands the cup of water to Molly. Look! Molly is not drinking the water. She is pouring the water on her drooping flower. Matt is surprised. Yay! The flower is standing up straight. It looks beautiful. Matt and Molly are happy. A drooping flower. Okay. Is Molly in this story? Excellent. Is Matt in this story? Correct. Is Matt drinking orange juice in this story? Super! Is Matt drinking water in this story? Right on! Is Molly's flower drooping? Wow! Does Molly ask Matt for a penny? Excellent! Does Molly ask Matt for a drink of water? Correct! Does Molly pour the water on Matt's head? Super! Does Molly pour the water on her flower? Right on! Are Matt and Molly happy that the flower is standing up straight? Wow! A drooping flower. Let's go! What is Matt drinking? Orange juice. Water. Excellent! What does drooping mean? Hanging down. Standing up straight. Correct! What does Molly want from Matt? A drink. A drum. Super! Where does Molly pour the water? On the flower. In the cup. Right on! What happens to the flower after Molly pours the water? It stands up straight. It droops. Wow! A drooping flower. Here we go! Click on something that is drooping. Excellent! Click on someone who is sad. Correct! Click on the cup. Super! Click on someone who is surprised. Right on! 
click on the flower. Wow! A drooping flower. Here we go! Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt is drinking a cup of water. Excellent! Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt hands the cup of water to Molly. Correct! Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly is pouring the water on her drooping flower. Super! Click on the picture that matches these words. Yay! The flower is standing up straight. Right on! A drooping flower. OK! Click on each picture and drag it to its place in the story. Click on the green button when you are finished to see if you are correct. Excellent! Put the story in order. Correct! Put the story in order. Super! Put the story in order. Right on! Put the story in order. Excellent! A drooping flower. Pick a spring story. Here we go! A rainy day. Click Here we go! This story is called A Rainy Day. It has four parts. Click on the arrow to listen to the story. Matt and Molly are standing outside. Matt feels a drop of rain. They are going to get wet. This is no fun. Matt and Molly put on raincoats. They are still getting wet. This is no fun. Matt and Molly put up umbrellas. They are still getting wet. This is no fun. The rain stops. The sun comes out. Matt and Molly can have fun now. A rainy day. OK. Is Molly in this story? Excellent. Is Matt in this story? Correct. Is it snowing in this story? Super! Is it raining in this story? Right on! Do Matt and Molly get wet? Wow! Do Matt and Molly put on boots? Excellent! Do Matt and Molly put on raincoats? Correct! Do Matt and Molly put up umbrellas? Super! Do Matt and Molly have fun in the rain? Excellent! Are Matt and Molly going to have fun in the sun? Wow! A rainy day. 
Let's go. What is falling at the beginning of this story? Rain. Snow. Excellent. What does Matt feel on his hand? A baseball. Rain. Correct. What do Matt and Molly each put on? Earmuffs. A raincoat. Super. What do Matt and Molly each put up? An umbrella. A fly swatter. Right on. What do Matt and Molly see when the rain stops? The sun. A cat. Wow. A rainy day. Here we go. Click on a drop of rain. Excellent. Click on wet hair. Correct. Click on a raincoat. Super. Click on an umbrella. Right on. Click on the sun. Wow. A rainy day. Here we go. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt feels a drop of rain. They are going to get wet. Excellent. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt and Molly put on raincoats. Correct. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt and Molly put up umbrellas. Super. Click on the picture that matches these words. The rain stops. The sun comes out. Right on. A rainy day. Okay. Click on each picture and drag it to its place in the story. Click on the green button when you are finished to see if you are correct. Excellent. Put the story in order. Correct. Put the story in order. Super. Put the story in order. Right on. Put the story in order. Excellent. A rainy day. Pick a spring story. Let's go. An old chest. Click on the big button to listen to the story. Click on one of the small buttons to do an activity. Here we go. This story is called An Old Chest. It has four parts. Click on the arrow to listen to the story. Matt and Molly see an old chest. Molly points to the chest. She says, Look, there are some old clothes inside. Molly takes an old dress out of the chest. 
She puts it on. Matt is smiling. Molly takes an old hat out of the chest. She puts it on. Matt is still smiling. Molly takes an old pair of shoes out of the chest. She puts them on. Matt says, "Molly, you look like Aunt Mary." An old chest. Okay. Is Molly in this story? Excellent. Is Matt in this story? Correct. Do Matt and Molly see an old lamp? Super. Do Matt and Molly see an old chest? Right on. Are there old toys inside the chest? Wow. Are there old clothes inside the chest? Excellent. Does Molly put on an old dress? Correct. Does Molly put on an old hat? Super. Does Molly put on an old pair of shoes? Right on. Does Matt say, "You look like Aunt Mary"? Wow. An old chest. Let's go. What do Matt and Molly see? A chest. A trash can. Excellent. What is inside the old chest? Clothes. A baseball bat. Correct. Who tries on the clothes? Matt. Molly. Super. What does Molly try on first? A dress. Earmuffs. Right on. What else does Molly try on? Shoes. A cowboy hat. Wow. An old chest. Here we go. Click on the chest. Excellent. Click on the clothes inside the chest. Correct. Click on the dress. Super. Click on the hat. Right on. Click on the shoes. Wow. An old chest. Here we go. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt and Molly see an old chest. Excellent. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly takes an old dress out of the chest. Correct. 
click on the picture that matches these words. Molly takes an old hat out of the chest. Super! Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt says, Molly, you look like Aunt Mary. Right on! An old chest. OK. Click on each picture and drag it to its place in the story. Click on the green button when you are finished to see if you are correct. Excellent! Put the story in order. Correct! Put the story in order. Super! Put the story in order. Right on! Put the story in order. Excellent! An old chest. Pick a spring story. OK! Get that fly! Click on the big button to listen to the story. Click on one of the small buttons to do an activity. Here we go! This story is called Get That Fly. It has four parts. Click on the arrow to listen to the story. The window is open. Look! Matt sees a fly coming into the house. Flies can be a bother. Matt gets a fly swatter. He sees the fly high up in the air. Matt stands on his toes. He reaches up to swat the fly. Oh, no! Matt misses the fly. He hits Molly on the head by mistake. Poor Molly. Goodbye, fly. Get that fly. OK. Is Molly in this story? Excellent. Is Matt in this story? Correct. Does a plane come into the house? Super! Does a bird come into the house? Right on! Does a fly come into the house? Excellent! Does Matt get a baseball bat? Excellent! Does Matt get a fly swatter? Correct! Does Matt reach up to swat the fly? The window. Matt gets a fly swatter. He sees the fly high up in the air. Matt stands on his toes. He reaches up to swat the fly. Does Matt reach up to swat the fly? Super! Does Matt hit the fly? Right on! Does Matt hit Molly by mistake? Wow! Get that fly! Let's go! What comes into the house? A fly. A turkey. Excellent! 
What does Matt get? A brush. A fly swatter. Correct. Where is the fly? On the floor. High in the air. Super. What does Matt hit? The fly. Molly. Right on. Where does the fly go at the end of the story? On Matt's head. Out the window. Wow! Get that fly. Here we go. Click on the fly. Excellent. Click on the fly swatter. Correct. Click on Matt's toes. Super! Click on Molly's head. Right on! Click on the window. Wow! Get that fly! Here we go! Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt sees a fly coming into the house. Excellent! Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt gets a fly swatter. Correct! Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt reaches up to swat the fly. Super! Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt hits Molly on the head by mistake. Right on! Get that fly! Okay! Click on each picture and drag it to its place in the story. Click on the green button when you are finished to see if you are correct. Excellent! Put the story in order. Correct! Put the story in order. Super! Put the story in order. Right on! Put the story in order. Excellent! Get that fly! Pick a spring story. Here we go! Let's play baseball! Click on the big button to listen to the story. Click on one of the small buttons to do an activity. Here we go! This story is called Let's Play Baseball. It has four parts. Click on the arrow to listen to the story. Matt sees Molly. He waves hello to her. Molly is holding a baseball in one hand. She is holding a baseball bat in her other hand. Matt tries to find the right hat. Molly says, No! That's not a baseball cap. That's a football helmet. Matt tries another hat. Molly says, No! That's not a baseball cap. That's a cowboy hat. Matt tries one more hat. Molly says, Yes! That's a baseball cap. Hooray! 
Let's play baseball. Okay. Is Molly in this story? Excellent. Is Matt in this story? Correct. Is Molly holding a basketball? Super. Is Molly holding a baseball? Right on. Is Molly holding a baseball bat? Wow. Is a football helmet good for playing baseball? Excellent. Is a cowboy hat good for playing baseball? Correct. Is a baseball cap good for playing baseball? Super. Is Molly happy that Matt found the right hat? Right on. Is baseball a sport? Wow. Let's play baseball. Let's go. Who waves hello? Matt. Molly. Matt sees Molly. He waves hello to her. Who waves hello? Excellent. Who holds a baseball bat? Correct. Matt. Molly. What kind of hat does Matt try on first? A baseball cap. A football helmet. Super. What kind of hat does Matt try on second? A cowboy hat. A baseball cap. Right on. What kind of hat is good for playing baseball? A baseball cap. A football helmet. Wow. Let's play baseball. Here we go. Click on the baseball. Excellent. Click on the baseball bat. Correct. Click on the football helmet. Super. Click on the cowboy hat. Right on. Click on the baseball cap. Wow. Let's play baseball. Here we go. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt waves hello to Molly. Excellent. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly says, that's a football helmet. Correct. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly says, that's a cowboy hat. Super. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly says, yes, that's a baseball cap. Right on. Let's play baseball. Okay. Click on each picture 
and drag it to its place in the story. Click on the green button when you are finished to see if you are correct. Excellent! Put the story in order. Correct! Put the story in order. Super! Put the story in order. Right on! Put the story in order. Excellent! Let's play baseball. Pick a spring story. Let's go! Taking a nap. Click on the big button to listen to the story. Click on one of the small buttons to do an activity. Here we go! This story is called Taking a Nap. It has four parts. Click on the arrow to listen to the story. Molly and her cat are taking a nap. There is a drum and two drumsticks in the room. Nobody is playing the drum. It is very quiet in the room. Oh, no! Matt starts banging on the drum. The drum sounds very loud. The noise wakes Molly and her cat. Matt thinks this is funny. Molly gets an idea. She puts earmuffs on her ears. Now she cannot hear the loud drum. Matt is confused. Molly puts earmuffs on her cat's ears, too. Now the cat cannot hear the loud drum. Molly and her cat fall asleep again. Matt doesn't think this is funny anymore. Taking a nap. Okay. Is Molly in this story? Excellent. Is Matt in this story? Correct. Is an elephant in this story? Super! Is a lion in this story? Right on! Is a cat in this story? Wow! Is Matt sleeping in this story? Excellent! Are Molly and her cat sleeping in this story? Correct! Does a loud drum wake Molly and her cat? Super! Does Molly take the drum away from Matt? Right on! Does Molly put earmuffs on herself and her cat? Wow! Taking a nap. Let's go! Who is taking a nap in this story? Matt. Molly. Excellent! What musical instrument is in this story. A drum. A horn. Correct! Who starts playing the drum? Matt. Molly. Super! What does Molly put on her ears? A hat. Earmuffs. 
Right on. A drum is loud. What else is loud? A horn. A broom. Wow. Taking a nap. Here we go. Click on the cat. Excellent. Click on the drum. Correct. Click on something that is loud. Super! Click on the earmuffs. Right on! Click on the cat's ears. Wow! Taking a nap. Here we go. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly and her cat are taking a nap. Excellent. Click on the picture that matches these words. Oh no. Matt starts banging on the drum. Correct. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly gets an idea. She puts earmuffs on her ears. Super! Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly puts earmuffs on her cat's ears, too. Right on! Taking a nap. Okay. Click on each picture and drag it to its place in the story. Click on the green button when you are finished to see if you are correct. Excellent. Put the story in order. Correct. Put the story in order. Super! Put the story in order. Right on! Put the story in order. Excellent! Taking a nap. Pick a spring story. Here we go! Time to clean up. Click on the big button to listen to the story. Click on one of the small buttons to do an activity. Here we go! This story is called Time to Clean Up. It has four parts. Click on the arrow to listen to the story. Matt and Molly are cleaning up. Matt is holding the dustpan. Molly is holding a broom. Molly is sweeping the trash into the dustpan. They are working together. Matt is taking the trash to the trash can. Molly is happy that the floor is clean. Matt stops walking. He says, Ah, ah, ah. Oh, no. Matt is sneezing. He pours all of the trash out of the dustpan. Molly says, Now the floor is dirty again, and we have to start all over. Time to clean up. Okay. Is Molly vacuuming in this story? Excellent. Is Molly sweeping in this story? Correct.
Is a cat holding a dustpan in this story? Super! Is Molly holding a dustpan in this story? Right on! Is Matt holding a dustpan in this story? Wow! Is Matt going to throw the trash into the trash can? Excellent! Does Matt start to cough? Correct! Does Matt start to sneeze? Super! Does the trash fall out of the dustpan? Matt? 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 Oh no! Matt is sneezing! He pours all of the trash out of the dustpan. Does the trash fall out? Right on! Do Matt and Molly have to start all over again? Wow! Time to clean up. Let's go. Who is sweeping in this story? Matt. Molly. Excellent. Who is helping Molly? A dog. Matt. Correct. What is Matt holding in his hand? Drumsticks. A dustpan. Super! Where is Matt taking the trash? To the trash can. To the chest. Right on! What does Matt do? He sneezes. He smiles. Wow! Time to clean up. Here we go. Click on the dustpan. Excellent. Click on the broom. Correct. Click on the trash can. Right on. Click on the trash. Super! Click on the sneeze. Wow! Time to clean up. Here we go. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt holds the dustpan and Molly sweeps. Excellent! Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt is taking the trash to the trash can. Correct! Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt stops walking. He says, Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Super! Click on the picture that matches these words. Oh no! Matt is sneezing! All of the trash falls out. Right on! Time to clean up. Okay! Click on each picture and drag it to its place in the story. Click on the green button when you are finished to see if you are correct. Excellent! 
put the story in order. Correct. Put the story in order. Super. Put the story in order. Right on. Put the story in order. Excellent. Time to clean up. Pick a spring story. Here we go. Wet paint. Click on the big button to listen to the story. Click on one of the small buttons to do an activity. Here we go. This story is called Wet Paint. It has four parts. Click on the arrow to listen to the story. Matt is going to paint a chair. He dips the paintbrush into the paint. Matt paints the chair. The paint is very wet. It is time for Matt to go home. Goodbye, Matt. Look, here comes Molly. Hello, Molly. Oh, no. Molly sat in the wet paint. Ah! Matt hears Molly yelling. He runs back to help her. Wet paint. Okay. Is Molly in this story? Excellent. Is Matt in this story? Correct. Is Matt building a chair? Super! Is Matt painting a chair? Right on! Is the paint dry? Wow! Is the paint wet? Excellent! Does Matt have to go home? Correct! Does Molly sit on the wet paint? Super! Does Molly laugh? Right on! Does Molly yell? Wow! Wet paint. Let's go! Who is painting in this story? Matt. Molly. Excellent. What is Matt painting? A chair. A box. Correct. What does Matt dip into the paint? A brush. An umbrella. Super! Who sits in the wet paint? Matt. Molly. Right on! What does Molly do when she sits in the wet paint? She yells. She smiles. Wow! Wet paint. Here we go. Click on the chair. Excellent. Click on the paintbrush. Correct. Click on the paint. 
super. Click on the thing that is wet. Right on. Click on the person who is yelling. Wow! Wet paint. Here we go. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt dips the paintbrush into the paint. Excellent. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt paints the chair. Correct. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt goes home. Here comes Molly. Super! Click on the picture that matches these words. Oh no! Molly sat in the wet paint. Right on! Wet paint. Okay. Click on each picture and drag it to its place in the story. Click on the green button when you are finished to see if you are correct. Excellent. Put the story in order. Correct. Put the story in order. Super! Put the story in order. Right on! Put the story in order. Excellent! Wet paint. Pick a spring story. What kind of stories would you like to hear? Click on a theme.